Hi and welcome to another tutorial. In today's lesson we'll learn how to recreate this cool looking grid motion effect using Adobe After Effects. So anyways guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that we have to do here is we have to create a new composition and I'm just gonna go with the 1920 by 1080 pixel document, 30 FPS and the duration, I'm gonna bring it down to about three seconds. Just press okay. Once we have that, then the next thing that we need to do is we need to add our grid. So I'm just gonna add a solid, I'm just gonna call this uh, grid and then I'm going to search for the effect called grid. And there you have it, there we have our grid. Now it's not really aligned to the center of that composition. So you can play around with some of these settings. If you wanna decrease the size of the border, you can do that here. So I'm probably gonna go down to something like two. And then I'm just gonna change the size from the width and uh, height sliders. So now I can move this to wherever I want and I just wanna put it into the middle of my composition. So maybe I'll do this one at let's say 159 and the height I'm gonna maybe make it to about 107. And then I just need to adjust it just so I don't get any of those edges happening there. Cool, so now you can see that I've even gone to the half values. So 159.5, you know, will get you uh, a grid kind of like that. And you can play around with the thickness and we can always come back and check that out a little bit later. But I'll leave it at two for now. So once we have that, the next thing that we need to do is we need to pre-compose that. So I'm just gonna go to layer pre-compose and I'm just gonna call it lines. And I'm just gonna make sure that I move all attributes and then just press okay. Once I have that, then the next thing that I need to do is I need to search for an effect called Mesh Warp and I need to add it on those lines. Now you can see what we have here. We've got a bunch of lines on top of our grid lines and it's hard to actually see. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna change it to two rows. We're gonna change it to four columns and we'll leave the quality at eight. Now you can see we have these points over here and what we are going to do is we are going to move them around. So for the first um, distortion, what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna click this point here and I'm just going to grab it and just move it till it's up there. I'm gonna move this point, I'm just gonna bring it down slightly and then I'm just gonna bring this point, I'm gonna move it up slightly as well. And if you wanna, you know, move around and play around with some of these, uh, you know, other handles as well, they also create unique uh, effects. So go, crazy really and uh, start mucking around with some of those uh, distortions there. Once you've got those distortions, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna animate that. So I'm just gonna hit that stopwatch for di distortion mesh. I'm gonna press U on my keyboard. I'm gonna move forward in time to let's say half of this composition. So that's uh, one and 15 frames. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to move these around and I'm going to you know, maybe put it something like that. And then this one, I'm gonna bring it back up a bit and I'll just change this around. And then this one, I'm also going to bring it back down till it's something like that. And cool, and so now if we preview that, now we've got this cool kind of distortion happening there. So now what we need to do is we need to add that first keyframe. I'm just going to copy and paste it and I'm just going to add it to the end of my composition. So now we're gonna create a nice loop. It's gonna get to the middle and then go back and then it's gonna loop again. So now that we have that animation going up and down, you can honestly leave it like that if you want. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna stop it. So I'm just gonna go about halfway in the middle here. I'm gonna press Command C and then I'm just gonna press Command V to paste. And so now the animation will go down and then it will stop and then it's going to repeat the same thing again on the other side. So I'm just gonna bring that 
probably to about there. And so now we have the animation go down, stops for a while, and then the animation comes back up, and then it stops for a while, and then it loops back again. So now once we have all of that, what we need to do is we need to go to Keyframe Assistant, Easy Ease, then I'm gonna go to the Graph Editor. I'm gonna highlight all of these anchor points and then I'm just gonna grab one of these handles. I'm gonna move it all the way to the left. And so now if we preview that, we have a, a little bit more of a nicer animation that goes with uh, those points over there. And if you think these points are too far apart, you can always move them a little bit closer together. Uh, and do whatever you want with them. So I'm pretty happy with that. I think that looks pretty cool. So now I'm gonna move on to the next thing. So once we have finished that, then the next thing that we need to do is we need to add a background. So I'm just gonna right click, add a new solid. I'm just gonna call it BG. Don't worry about the color. I'm just gonna drag it underneath our lines. I'm gonna search for the effect called gradient ramp. And I am using color hunt here. So these are going to be the, co the colors for my grids as well as the background. I'm gonna take that dark color over there. I'm gonna to go to the white. I'm gonna change that. I'm gonna change it to a radial ramp. I'm going to move that first point to the middle and the end of the ramp to somewhere over there. And then I'm just gonna press swap colors. So now that looks pretty cool. Then I'm gonna go back to my lines and I'm gonna add a fill effect. And this is where I'm gonna go back to color hunt. And this time I'm just gonna add this color here and I'm just gonna go over here to paste the color in. And there you go. So now we've got those cool colors that go with, uh, with each other. And I think that looks pretty cool. So now the next thing that we need to do or that I added on here is I added a light sweep. So I'm gonna search for the effect called CC light sweep. And basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna increase the width, um, maybe something like that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go and click on the center. I'm gonna move the center point until it's off the screen. So something like that. And we're just gonna, you know, do a simple light sweep. So I'm gonna go to the end of the composition and make sure that that center is off that screen just like that so if you preview that back you will see that the the light sweep just sweeps across and that looks pretty cool so another effect that we can put in here is some glow and if we just drop the threshold to about 40 we drop the glow radius or we bump it up to about 20 and we drop the intensity to about 0.8 now we have a nice glow that also goes with our light sweep as well so i think that looks pretty Cool. So the next thing that we need to do is I did add an adjustment layer. So I right clicked, I went to add an adjustment layer and I added an effect called, uh, firstly I added an effect called curves. And so what this did is it just, I just wanna make things darker a little bit just like that. So I just created a very simple S bend and then I'm gonna create another adjustment layer. I'll just put it underneath my curves and this time I'm gonna search for the effect called Turbulent Displace. I'm just gonna change the amount to 12. I'll leave the size at 100 and you can see it doesn't really do too much there but if I hold uh, option and hit that stopwatch for evolution and if I write time times let's say 100 all right now you're going to get a little bit more movement in those grid lines so I think that looks uh, actually pretty cool as well so now the final thing that I added here was another new adjustment layer and this one is going to go all the way at the top and I just added some noise. So if I bump up the noise to let's say about 10%, now there's a bit of noise and grain on there and I think that looks pretty cool. And yeah, that's about it. The only other thing I did add, I added this, uh, this other effect which is called CC Glass and there's a cool light intensity you know, meter in here. So I did play around a little bit with that to add a little bit more light intensity to it. And there you have it. That's how you do a very simple grid motion effect using pretty simple tools that are all built into Adobe After Effects. So I hope you guys learned something. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.